Hello and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Modular. In this video we will have a look at the word Eterlaccio from Noise Engineering. Noise Engineering from California are around now for quite some time and in my opinion really do a difference with their modules. There is a ton of oscillators out there, original ones, copies, some that try to emulate vintage hardware, which is cool as it gives us a lot of options, but in most cases it is not something new or innovative. Now Noise Engineering came with their Leggio platform. Leggio is a stereo oscillator effects platform. Every Leggio module comes with a USB connection, so you can update or load a completely new firmware. I have the Word Eater Leggio here but I can load the firmware of any other module of the Leggio platform at no cost. So I could transform my Word Eater Leggio into a Libre or Timp Leggio module. There are also overlays available so you have the right labeling for all the knobs, in and outputs. I'd say this is pretty cool. Alright, now to the Word Eater Leggio module. It is a 6 HP wide stereo oscillator. It comes with three different algorithms. Harm, saw X and bass. Harm is a sinusoidal additive synth with a slight distortion. The saw X algorithm is a super saw oscillator. For the bass algorithm, let me read what it says in the Word Eterlatio manual. Some years ago, Bernie Hutchins, retired professor of electrical engineering at Cornell University, wrote a great series called Electronotes. Electronotes number 73 includes reference to an algorithm called BASE, named after a person, not the clef. It's a simple algorithm that uses nonlinearities combined with quadrature modulation to produce a variety of tones. That sounds good, doesn't it? Now let's have a look on the interface. The pitch knob sets the pitch of the oscillator. Turn for fine tuning, press and turn for coarse tuning. Then we have a flavor and tang knob. Their functions depend on the selected algorithm. Next is a three-way switch to select the algorithm. Another three-way switch for the integrated vintage-inspired chorus. Zero is off, one is some and two is a lot. Did I mention that I love chorus effects on synths? Then we have CV inputs for sync, pitch, flavor and tang. Next we have the phase modulation inputs. It is intended for use with audio signals for complex harmonic patches similar in sound to frequency modulation. The inputs can be used independently with separate signals or with a single signal. Patching to the left input will normal to the right one for an easy modulation. So you could send a mono sine wave to the left input for instance. Last but not least the main audio outputs for left and right as it is a stereo module. All right, enough talking, now let's hear how it sounds.
That was it for the word eater latio. I think it's really innovative what noise engineering did here, and I'm curious what latio modules will follow. What do you think about this module? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, it would mean a lot to me if you leave a like and become a subscriber. So long, have a great day, evening or night, and see you next time on the